Hello everyone, I'm going to start doing a series of videos that was requested quite a long time ago I've only just got round to doing them Basically the idea is that we test a gas mask to see how effective it is against aerosols and what I'm going to do is very primitive, it's a you know don't try this at home thing even though I'm doing it at home type of thing um, and what I'm going to do is get a gas mask and we'll have a series of these where we test gas masks I can test the new ones if people want me to, but there's not much point because they're the ones we obviously know that work. So what I want to do is try an old gas mask with the original style filters for them and see how effective they are at blocking aerosols. Now, with this test, as people who are into sort of gas masks and chemical agents will know, um, this is only going to be effective against testing it against aerosols um, because things like tear gas or aerosol sprays and that will be the actual aerosol part of the filter that will block it anything that's biological is or you know other types of gases are stopped by the activated charcoal in the filter so I can't really test that so what I'm just going to be testing is aerosol so if a mask could protect you against tear gas and obviously this isn't an indicator that it would stop all gas but it will give you a pretty good idea so moving on this is what I'm going to be testing it with uh, simple household you know air fresheners for a toilet and on all of these they will say somewhere on there safety do not breathe spray and you know using a well ventilated area so what I'm going to do is not use it in a well ventilated area and I'm going to spray a lot of it how will the test work I'll put the gas mask on and I'll spray a lot of the spray I'll then give it about 30 seconds or so to a minute report if I'm feeling anything or smelling anything through the mask then I'll take the mask off and see what the effect is and as you can quite possibly imagine if the mask works I'll be breathing absolutely fine with it on when I take the mask on I'll start coughing and spluttering because I'm inhaling stuff I shouldn't be so as I said don't try this at home in a sense even though that's what I'm doing um, but yeah it's nothing serious in these sprays but it'll give us a good idea if the mask works so let's see what they do so the mask being tested today is the good old classic GP5 and I'm assuming it's 1988 this filter so it's long since expired but I'm going to try it with this filter on and my GP5 is 1979 date stamped on the mask itself I, I have the mask on, uh, you can see it's pressurised which means it's got an airtight seal I can't smell anything so I assume the mask is working so we'll put that to the test so here we go Yeah, and I've got the uh, liquid alcohol, whatever they use in there, on my hands from spraying it. So, let's see how this goes. So far I can't smell anything. So, um, I'll give it about a minute, roughly, and we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, so far I can smell absolutely nothing. No effects, I don't feel, you know, find it hard to breathe at all. Um, yeah, absolutely no problems breathing at the moment. Seems to be working. Uh, so I'll give that about 20 more seconds. But as you can see, I'm having no problem breathing whatsoever. I'm not feeling like coughing, I'm not feeling short of breath, and um, all seems good. But I definitely think that's going to change as soon as I take the mask off. So. Okay, that's about a minute, I reckon, so let's see what happens. <coughs> well, as you can see from that video, that definitely worked. Um, there, that really made me cough and splutter when I took that off. So, the mask works perfectly. Uh, well, at least against what we tested it on. Obviously, the filter will have degraded against certain gases by this point. But this mask with a new filter on would work and even these old soviet filters still would stop tear gas now here's the interesting thing as i was saying before dated 1988 i'm assuming that's 1988 and not 58 but regardless you know a filter of that age on a mask from 1979 that still stops aerosols is bloody impressive um, 
you know, and this is why I really get pissed off when people slag off these type of masks, where, yes, of course, they're not as good as a modern sort of NATO mask or whatever, but for a cheap mask made for civilians from the Cold War that actually still works against things is very impressive. You know, and that's why I get so annoyed when you have these companies, you know, saying, buy our $300 mask because, you know, it's a death sentence wearing one of these. Yes, there are better masks available, much better masks available, but this thing still works. Um, which is really a testament to Soviet and Russian engineering. But, yeah, so the GP5 wins this test. It gets a thumbs up, even with the original filter. Um, and what I'll tell you what, I'll be doing a series of these videos, because they're quite easy to do, and I can do them when I don't have much time. But what I'd like you to do is tell me in the comments uh, what mask you'd like me to do next.